Uh, this comes from the front page of the website. AEW head Tony Khan teased that he is, quote, working on something pretty big, unquote, that hopefully will be done over the next week. He didn't allude to whether it was a signing or a business-related move, simply saying, quote, it would be massive, unquote. He indicated it would be something that few people would expect or even think to believe, apparently. Khan has frequently gone the route of teasing and promoting surprises throughout AEW's early years, most of which have been free agent signings, most recently February 9th, Dynamite when Keith Lee and Jay White debuted. During the interview, Khan also talked, of course, about Cody and Brandy Rhodes' departure from AEW. This is the first time he is publicly doing it. Khan said his statement made Tuesday was, quote, from the heart and really positive. I meant it. He went on to say, I wish them both really well. I appreciate everything they did here in their different roles in the company. It's very sad and not something any of us wanted to happen. He went on to say, I believe that Cody has got something else in the works. I'm not sure about that, but we will see. I am sure they will have great opportunities in wrestling and in life. You never know what will happen in the future. I wish them the best, and I'm appreciative of everything they did here, unquote. When asked about comments that have circulated surrounding the sentiment that some in the company were happy to see Brandy leave, Khan did not address them specifically, but said they have, quote, classy people in the locker room, unquote, and that he was not surprised that they rallied around her on social media and for the company in general on Wednesday. Well... In this week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer was reporting, and I will read this in its entirety here, that, quote, there were those happy both Cody and Brandy were gone and thought, quote, hero treatment given to them by some in the company after he left is a great public story but is not the real story. There were those who said it was clear Cody was not happy about his loss of power, and regarding Brandy, she definitely had her critics. One person noted that Dana Massey never got the credit for a lot of her work when it came to things involved with Brandy on the deal side. I guess that would be like AEW heels and things like that. There were definitely issues with the women's division that were at first earmarked for Brandy, but Omega ended up taking more control and being heavily involved in match layouts. But even then, it's still Khan who had the final say, but it was also noted that a lot of talent quietly were celebrating and that it wasn't all the sadness that it was made out to be. One of the key people in the company said that he was very surprised at the departure, but said the reaction was positive for much of the locker room, unquote. So as this continues uh, to hash itself out, as Cody gives his side of the story, as other people, I'm sure, opine on the situation and maybe their direct involvement or indirect involvement with everybody I guess we will hear more about this story, so if you want it to go away, it is certainly not anytime soon. Uh, Dave also noted something that is has been very curious to me, as I've talked about on the show, and I'll read it here. Uh, Roads to the Top uh, had been agreed on some months back for a second season, but no announcement was ever made. And with this current situation, especially if he goes to WWE, one would question how the show would be brought back. However, they already started filming season two, and that's another aspect of this deal. The story that it, TNT is exploring options of what to do with footage already filmed for season two, and everything is still up in the air, and decisions are likely to be made in the coming weeks. Obviously, all of the previously filmed episodes for Go Big Show for its current season will air as expected. It is also not a lock he wouldn't be back for a future season of that show if he goes to WWE, but WWE would have to agree to allow it. John Cena is on TBS with Wipeout while still being contractually with WWE, although Cena's WWE deal being essentially a non-full-time wrestler who does guest appearances would likely be different than a deal Rhodes would have if he goes, one would think it would be as a full-time wrestler. 
Dave went on to write that for Warner Media, they had positioned Rhodes as a star on a non-wrestling program, and in that sense, the loss of one guy that they had positioned in that way has a greater ramification than other losses of similar level and even higher level of stars would have. Tony Khan on Busted Open today said that he feels as though Cody may have some other things up his sleeve. I would assume that would have nothing to do with WWE and have everything to do with side projects. And I am, again, that is a part of this that is very interesting to me because Cody Rhodes has wanted to do so many things outside of wrestling or do things that he could tie into his wrestling. And will the the next season of Rhodes to the top, if it, will it go to its completion? Or what will they do with some of this stuff? Favorite quote from The Simpsons. Can I do an impression? Sure. Okay, so uh, Bart was doing some road cleanup, and he said, Hey, Krusty, what are you doing here? And Krusty says, uh, It's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. That was a very good impression, Craig. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.